I told you guys what I'm going through. I called you guys. I cried to you guys. I said, please, Roy Mama. Roy Mama, help me. Roy Mama. I cried to you, Roy Mama. Roy Mama, I cried to you. I said, Roy Mama, help me, Roy Mama. Roy Mama told me. Then he's come down. Then he's come down. Don't worry. I'll talk to them. They are my sister. They are my brother. I was shocked. Roy Mama told me later on. That they blocked her. That they blocked Roy Mama. Who else? Do you people expect me to inbox? I see some people telling me, hey, Dennis, if I inbox me, if I tell me a problem, if I do so, if I talk this, if I do that, if I do. So many of you are blaming this girl for having brought the issue to the social media. Like, seriously, there are times that I always ask if some of you who just go around talking and texting because texting in so on social media is free i always ask this question if you guys really have brains because anybody under normal circumstance will not even question why this girl is bringing this issue to social media if she brought it to social media it means that she must have tried to solve this thing or she must have tried to make it work behind the behind the, the blinds and it didn't work and talking on the part of uh, a pm global it is very normal for a businessman to do business and the business fail some time but as a business person we all know that you have to be ready for the consequences and this is just an example you can do business do business do business and it goes through all along but one day it will have to fail and when it does you just need to accept it you just need to take the consequences so guys i just want to i just want us to continue watching this girl and listening to her explanation no one is nailing anybody on the cross we are just trying to understand what she is saying and i beg you guys to watch her with an open mind stop throwing all the slant just stop saying that to stop asking her or questioning why she brought it to the social media because if you were the one you wouldn't sit and just and just let seven million go down like that immediately my friend I even shot money I even shot money Uncle Epie not only asked me seven million he asked me that eight million he asked me eight million but because at that time at that time me and my family they feel raised now seven million I inbox I tell you as if that the APA I call it I say that the APA I did the coin say Mr. APA I call it I say that the APA that the APA now me delist for Dubai I see a post say you find girl for Dubai Back, help me. I'll be willing for the connection. If you could ask me, say I get eight million. I say, okay, no worry. I go tell my mom. My mom didn't even have a kupa. My mom didn't have a kupa. I said, for kwa kwa. I for kwa kwa. I said, for kwa kwa. I said, for bole. I said, for ekobe. I said, my mom did. The funniest thing, what makes me so angry is the fact that you people, viewers, commenters, and followers, you have sold your souls to the devil. Like, seriously, when I see some of the comments that you guys put, nobody is saying that you should disrespect Mama Taraku or disrespect a peer. Nobody is saying you should insult them, but at least be reasonable for once. Be reasonable for once. There was a post that Mama Taraku did last week, and she was on that post, she was trying to say oh, if if you if she has taken your money and you bring her to social media, what will happen, what will happen and so on. And I saw so many people on that trying to favor her. Nobody was like saying anything reasonable. Every Everybody, you guys are just so impossible on this social media. So if this girl were to be your sister, if this girl were to be your sister, your child, your wife, you will still say those things that you move around saying under the comment sections about her. Guys, I want us to be reasonable 
for once nobody as i said nobody is blaming a peer it is very normal that you will you can do business sometimes and sometimes the business might not work but if it doesn't work you have to look for ways to fix it you have to face the consequences because when you are gaining in that business nobody is you you're happy right if you're gaining that business and you're happy when things turn round you have to fix it you they, like seriously mr apa and the family you really have to look for a means to give this girl's money because from the way she cries from the way she is crying it shows that she must have, she must have gone through a lot to get the money that she she gave you guys yes I give my mom see confidence. I give my mom see trust. I give my mom see all the assurance. Say mom see, I'm ready for any sign. Mom see, borrow money for any sign. Mom see, you love me. Mom see, you love me. Mom see, you love me. Do anything for my money. So my mom see, he enter, he search, he find you friend, he call you friend, he borrow money. Oh, she borrow money. So he take he add her money. If it's seven million, if it's seven million, after Amalilian sent me one hundred. This is a question to those who are questioning the reason why this girl brought this issue to the social media. Somebody took your money to do documents for you and at the end of the day, no documents, no traveling, and the person is not even refunding your money. And at the same time, you see this person or this family sharing money online in the name of give away. I am not against the give away. The give away Mama Atalaku and her family does online goes a long way to help so many people, which I personally I appreciate them for that. But doing give away, knowing fully well that you have the money of people that has not yet been recovered or has not yet been refunded, isn't it? some sort of isn't it isn't it provocative if you are the one and you sit behind your money hasn't been re refunded and the same person is doing giveaway online will you just sit and keep quiet i want these people who are blaming this girl to answer me like seriously you sure for the thing when you want go in? Oh my God! Oh, I remember when my mom used to tell me, oh, my mom used to tell me, say, baby, baby, my mom used to call me that baby. My mom used to call me baby, baby. You sure the thing when you want go through? You sure say go work? I say, mommy, no worry. I say, mommy, no worry. Not sure, mommy. The people them, they don't lie. The people them, not sure. The people them, they don't lie. The people them, they don't lie. I say, mommy, I don't see proof. I don't see proof. I don't see proof. I don't see proof. I said, mommy, don't worry, don't worry. The family, the people, they didn't lie. So my mom said, yeah, yeah. She was right when she accepted or when she assured her mom that these things will go through because this is not the first person APM Global is doing documents for. AP has been doing it and it has been working. We have seen a couple of videos how they pick up people from the airport. So she was sure. And for the people who are still asking this other stupid question, who are asking this lady, that if it have worked, would she have been on the social media or would she have been doing all this in this on the social media? Mind you that she was the client, she is the client, and the client is always right. There is just no way you can give me any reason or you can give make me understand why she should be the one answering all these questions you guys are asking. Guys, be reasonable for once. Let's continue the video. Be, leave my picking the door. Maybe I beg that so that it appear. Tell me, tell my mommy say, when the apa, apa, the cry me through for the call. Now so that it appear. Tell my mommy say, say, mommy say, no worry. But he say, mommy, no worry. I don't be for Dubai. Now so that it appear. Tell my mommy say, mommy, mommy, no worry. I don't be for Dubai. I don't be for Dubai. I know how to buy there. I know how to. Say, don't take up for God that do. But, but he say, but he say, no worry. He say, mom, see, no worry, no worry, no worry. That's what me too. I depend my mom, see. That's what me too. I depend my mom, see. I said, mom, see, no worry, no worry. You know, you get to it on top now. No worry. I trust them. I trust them. No mom, see, no worry. Not legit. I said, mom, see, I didn't fear them. I didn't fear them. I didn't fear them. Now, so, even though. Imagine her poor mother going around in the village 
borrowing money to make sure that her child goes to UA, uh, to UK. And at the end of the day, her child didn't go to UK, the money was not refunded, and even the people who collected the money were not saying anything positive. If you are the one, would you just sit and just let things lie? Would you just sit and just let seven million get lost like that and some of you still have the guts to question her online some of you still have the guts to support mr epier and the rest of the people involved nobody is saying you should blame epier or whatever we are just saying that at least he would have given this girl hope or even listen to this girl if this girl came to the social media it only there's only one thing we can think about maybe she tried behind to to resolve the problem or to recover her money and there were no hopes and that is why she brought it to the social media and some of you still go around condemning her oh my god this is really funny with 237 like seriously mango shake skin why am I picking two for that side? Go, go walk, shake skin. Who oh, gather up? Who oh, give up for you? Give me December end. That's what I take up. That's what daddy help you take up. He accept. Say, okay, I'm going to send the 7M. Why December ending? He did wait 1M for make 8M. Now, so. I, I don't, my mom is going to send the receipt. Now, so I'll be the next day. I I don't know if some of you really get the point here. Do you know how painful it is to suffer and work that sum of money as big as 7 million? Guys, 7 million is not 7,000. It's not 700,000. We are talking about 7 million. This is, the, this is money that some people have been working for years and they have never been able to save and somebody gives it to another person and at the end of the day nothing works and you guys just want this lady to sit and clap for the people who took her money God, like seriously god is god god is god that is the only thing i i can say so guys you've listened to this girl and you've heard her cry what have you got to say about all these things do you think that this girl was wrong to have come to the social media to tell her story or you think that she was supposed to sit and wait for her money behind the blinds and even if at the end the money doesn't come she just forgets about it like that let just put your honest opinions in the comment section guys and see you in our next video bye bye